four strangers. One goal, to win a head-to-head -head competition for the chance at $100,000. One wrong answer could be their last. This is Russian Roulette. From Walla Walla, Washington, box office attendant, Sean Egan. From Cleveland, Ohio, dog walker, Amy Altschuld. From Hollywood, California, substitute teacher, Paige Klein. From Salt Lake City, Utah, event coordinator, Sharice Johnson. And now, here's our host, Mark L. Wahlberg. Thank you. Hey, welcome to Russian Roulette. All four players ready to go. Welcome to all four of you. As you know, a correct answer wins you money and keeps you in the game, but an incorrect answer means you give up all your winnings and you have to pull that little handle you see in front of there and play Russian Roulette. Okay? In this round, we start with one drop zone, and we increase your danger by adding a new drop zone with each new question. These questions are worth $150. We have given you all that amount to start the game. Sean, our lone male player. You've been randomly selected as our challenger. Are you all ready to play the game? Yes. Let's play the game. Okay, here's your first question, guys. What physicist first proved that if your body is in motion when it falls through the hole, it will tend to stay in motion? Who do you want to challenge, Sean? I think I'm going to challenge Amy. Okay, Amy. Was the physicist Galileo, Isaac Newton, or Johann Kepler? Four seconds. Uh, Galileo. Is it Galileo? It is not. That theory was posed by Isaac Newton. Incorrect answer right off the bat. There's one drop zone. You lose your money and you play Russian roulette, Amy. Lucky me. Lucky you. Well, you better hope it's lucky you. Let's play Russian roulette. Okay, get a pull. Challenger. We have a second drop zone. There are two drop zones. Here's the next question. In George Orwell's bleak novel Animal Farm, the government is controlled by what mammals? Amy, who do you want to challenge? I would like to challenge Charisse. All right, Charisse, is the government controlled by horses, rats, or pigs? Uh, horses. Is it horses? It is not horses, it's Aww. pigs. Sharice, you lose your money, and now you play Russian roulette. There are two drop zones. Unlock Sharice's zones. Okay, anything you'd like to say before you pull that handle? <laughs> no! Let's play Russian roulette. All right, Sharice, pull the handle. Okay. There are now three drop zones. You're the challenger. Here's the next question. Beyonce Knowles is one of the founding members of what popular all-female singing group? Cherise, you challenge one of these three players. Who do you want it to be? I want to challenge Paige because she looks like the girl who tried to steal my high school boyfriend. <laughs> oh. So, oh. We'll I have never stolen anyone's boyfriend in my life. Yeah. Just um, FYI. Yeah. Okay. Um, Is she a founding member of TLC, En Vogue, or Destiny's Child? I'm going to say Destiny's Child. Is it Destiny's Child? It is Destiny's Child. Quick <laughs> answer. Paige, you have $300. You're now the challenger. There are four drop zones. And here's the next question. In the 1990s, basketball great Michael Jordan led the Chicago Bulls to how many NBA championships? Who do you want to challenge, Paige? I'm going to go for Sharice. Take my boyfriend. Take none of my money. I'm ready. <laughs> Is the number of championships four, five, or six? Uh, the number is six. Is it six? It is.
Okay, Cerise, now you are back in control. Guess what? You have some money. Yay! Hey, I got money. <laughs> there are now five drop zones. You're the challenger. Okay. Right. Here's the question. At the time of her murder, starlet Dorothy Stratton was the girlfriend of what Hollywood director? Cherise, who do you want to challenge? Uh, I would like to uh, challenge Sean. Sean. Was Dorothy the girlfriend of Peter Bogdanovich, Ross Hunter, or Roman Polanski? Hmm. Four uh, seconds. Roman Polanski. Is it Roman Polanski? It is not. Your money goes to Sharice. The correct answer was Peter Bogdanovich. And now, my friend, there are five drop zones. And you have to play Russian roulette. Okay, let's <laughs> unlock Sean's zone. Oh, Anything you'd like great. to say before you pull the handle? This sucks. Well said, Sean. Let's play <laughs> Russian roulette. Thank you. Give it a pull, Sean. You beat five drop zones, Sean. That takes a whole bunch of luck. But that sound means time is up. You have no money, Sean. Amy, one fifty. Paige, you have three hundred dollars. Charisse, you're in the lead with four fifty. You are the only one yeah. safe from dropping right now. So let's go. All right, Charisse. One of the three players behind you is going to drop. No. Now, obviously, whoever <laughs> drops, their money gets split evenly amongst the remaining players. So that aside, which one of these three would you like to see drop? Well, obviously, Paige. Oh! Yeah. You really liked that guy, didn't you? Yeah. She was a terrible, terrible, dirty bird. Wasn't I'm very she? happily married now, so I'm over it. But right. at the same time, we all yeah, can, we can all sense how over it you are, Cherie. So <laughs> let's play Russian roulette. Okay, pull the handle. Let's step back here and see what happens. See who falls victim to the drop zone next. Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back to Russian Roulette. We are back, but Amy is not. Three players remain. Sean, you have fifty dollars. Paige, three fifty. Sharice, five hundred dollars. You're in the lead. That makes you the challenger. This round is a little bit tougher, though. The questions are worth $200, but there are now four possible answers instead of three. Uh, we start with one drop zone. We add a new drop zone with each new question. Cherise, you're in the lead. You're the challenger. Are you all ready? Yes. yes. Let's play the game. And here is your first question. Before it was renamed by the British in 1664, what was the name of New York City? Cherise, who do you want to challenge? Sean, he has 50. Or Paige with 350. Paige, I'd like to challenge you. You've got a lot of money and I could use it. Paige, was it called New Rotterdam, New London, New Amsterdam, or New Portsmouth? New Rotterdam. Is it New Rotterdam? No, it is New Amsterdam. Your money goes to Charisse and you play Russian roulette, Paige. Unlock Paige's zone. One drop zone to avoid. Let's play Russian Roulette. Oh. No, you did it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're now the challenger, but you have no money. Adding a second drop zone, we now have two. And here comes the question. In the movie, A League of Their Own, what Oscar-winning actor plays coach Jimmy Dugan? Who do you want to challenge? I think I'll challenge Cherise, because you're doing so well by me. <laughs> That's right. Cherise, is the actor Tom Hanks, Tommy Lee Jones, Nicolas Cage, or Richard Dreyfuss? It's my very favorite movie, so I know exactly that it is Tom Hanks. <laughs> it's like a commercial for the movie right there. Is it Tom Hanks? It is Tom Hanks. All right, Cherise, 1,050, you're back in the driver's seat. You're the challenger. Three drop zones. Next question. 
According to the Christopher Marlowe play, whose face launched a thousand ships? Who do you want to challenge, Therese? I would like to challenge Sean this time. He deserves a break. All right, Sean. <laughs> Was it the face of Helen of Troy, Cleopatra, Aphrodite, or Cassandra? Well, I was a theater major, so I hope I get this right. I think it's Helen of Troy. Is it Helen of Troy? It is. <laughs> okay, Sean, you pick up a little bit of money, and now you're the challenger for Drop Zones now. It's getting interesting. Here's the question. In 1939, Thanksgiving was celebrated a week earlier on the third Thursday in November. For what reason? Hmm. What do you think, Sean? Who do you want to challenge? Well, since Cherise has all the money, I think I'm going to challenge her. Okay, Cherise. Was the reason a national turkey shortage to increase the Christmas shopping season, avert an airline strike, or accommodate the Macy's parade? I love shopping. I'm going to just absolutely say that it was increasing the Christmas shopping season. Is it to increase the Christmas shopping season? Wow. Yeah. Unstoppable. Yeah. You have 1250. Hey, that sound means time is up. Sean has 250. Paige has no money. And Cherise, you are still the only one safe, and you get to pull the handle. Come on. All right. Yeah. Okay. If Sean goes, we split his money between you and Paige. If Paige goes, there's nothing to split. Let's unlock Paige and Sean's zones. Let's play Russian roulette. Let's get back here and see who's going. Interesting round, and they battle it out for a chance at $100,000 right after this. Watch out, it's back. Whammy, the all new Press Your Luck, weeknights at 10 p.m. only on Team Show Network. <laughs> Roulette. We started with four contestants, but now we're down to only two, and it's interesting the two we have. Paige has $125. Charisse, you have $1,375. You yes. will be the challenger. Paige and Charisse, your strategy is everything in this round. You know this, right? Charisse, as the challenger, you could pass the question as we've done to Paige and challenge her, or if you like, you can risk all that you have and you can keep the question and try to answer it yourself. Okay? These questions are worth $300 each. We start, as we always do, with one drop zone. Are you ready, ladies? Let's play the game. Okay, here's the first question. What African-American political figure began adopting the black Muslim faith while serving a prison term? Sharice, you're the challenger. Do you want to answer this yourself, risk all that you have, but keep control, or challenge Paige? I'll go ahead and challenge Paige. Paige was the political figure. Louis Farrakhan, Malcolm X, Al Sharpton, or Jesse Jackson? I believe that the answer is Malcolm X. Is it Malcolm X? Yes, it is. There are now two drop zones. Here's the next question. For the low price of just $15 million, the U.S. made the Louisiana purchase from what country? Want to answer this page? Keep control or challenge Cherise? I think I'm going to challenge Cherise. Was the country Great Britain, France, Spain, or Canada? It was Canada. Was it Canada? It was not Canada. Oh, sorry. No, the correct answer oh. was France. You just lost all your money. Did you say sorry to I did. I'm feeling bad. All right. Now, there are two drop zones, Charisse. To stay in this game, you have to survive. Unlock Charisse's zone. Let's play Russian roulette. Give it a pull, Charisse. situation you have the money you have control there are three drop zones how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb is the subtitle of what 1960s film classic Charisse what do you want to do 
I would like Paige to answer that question. Paige, is it the subtitle of The Wild Bunch, The Manchurian Candidate, Dr. Strangelove, or The Great Escape? The answer is Dr. Strangelove, and that's my favorite movie, so... Oh. <laughs> what are the chances? Is it Dr. Strangelove? It is. Control goes back to Paige. You have $2,100. Four drop zones. Next question. What international bestseller was published in 1966 by sex researchers Masters and Johnson? What do you want to do, Paige? I think I will pass the question. You've been challenged, Cherise. Was the bestseller titled The Joy of Sex, Human Sexual Response, Sex and Reason, or The Height Report? The answer is The Joy of Sex. Is it... It is not the joy of sex. The answer is human sexual response. Okay, you had no money to lose, but now you play Russian roulette with four drop zones. Unlock Sharice's zone. Anything you would like to say? <laughs> I'm so scared of this thing. Let's play Russian roulette. Go ahead. But while you were screaming, that sound means time is up, Cherise. You survive, but there's no time to win it back because your worst nightmare is about to happen. Cherise, it's time to go. Paige, congratulations. You're our champion. Well done. $2,100 is yours. You waited till the end. You took her down. And now you are the champion. When we come back, Paige is going to try her hand at our five questions. If she answers them correctly, it's $10,000. If she gambles, possibly $100,000 right after this. What's red and wears glasses full of holes and totally original? It's Game Show Network's late night lineup. At 10, it's Whammy, the all new Press Your Luck. Then at 10.30, Friend or Foe. And at 11, drop in for a game of Russian Roulette. Three originals, five nights a week starting at 10 p.m. on Game Show Network. Welcome back to Russian Roulette. Paige, you waited it out and you've already won $2,100. It is your money to keep no matter what happens. Congratulations. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. Now, five questions. You answer them correctly in 60 seconds. You take home an additional $10,000. And at that point, you can take a chance, give up that $10,000, gamble it on one final game of Russian Roulette. If you survive, it's $100,000. Alright, Paige, let's get down to business. A drop zone opens every 10 seconds. If time runs out or you give an incorrect answer, you're gone. Uh, yeah. You know that. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't answer all five, we give you $500 for every correct answer you do come up with. Alright? Ready, Paige? I'm ready. Okay, yeah. let's unlock all six drop zones. <laughs> the 60 second clock starts as soon as I begin reading. Remember, you can pass. If you don't know the answer, and if time permits, we'll come back to it. Also, I need the phrase, my answer is for each answer. Deep breath. Let's get you some money, Paige. Good luck. Let's begin. Lawyer, doctor, or detective, what is the occupation of the title character on the TV show Ally McBeal? My answer is lawyer. Correct. What is the last digit in the year in which the stock market first crashed, leading to the Great Depression? My answer is nine. That's correct. True or false, the official United States flag has exactly the same number of red stripes as white stripes. My answer is false. That's correct. Rearrange all the letters in the phrase dream spin to spell the name of a title, mo title of a movie based on a comic book hero. My answer is Spider-Man. Correct. How many times does the letter N appear in the official name of the 4th of July holiday? N D D. N-D-E-N-C-E. Three times. My answer is three times. That is correct. Stop the clock. <laughs> you got it, Barry. Oh, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Wow. 
You said three times and the clock was ticking, and then you I, said my answer is yes. three times. I'm so glad you did that. You got all five of them. That's ten thousand dollars, Paige. Yes. There were seven seconds left, which means that five yeah. drop zones have opened. Now, Paige, you've got a lot of money. You've got ten thousand plus the twenty-one is twelve thousand one hundred dollars. Yeah. Twenty-one hundred is yours, but if you'd like, we can say goodbye to that ten thousand dollars. Pull the handle one last time. If you find that one safe zone, that is, you walk out of here with a hundred thousand dollars, Paige. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna play. Bold move. All right, so she's going for it. Let's close and reset all of the drive zones. Let's unlock Paige's zone. You've got a one in six chance of walking out of here with $100,000. Yeah. Comes up red, you drop, and the $10,000 goes with you. Yes. All right, Paige, good luck. For $100,000, let's play Russian roulette. Good luck. She went for it. She was bold. The audience, half of them were saying, don't go. Half of them were saying, go. But that half, well, they're a little touched. But anyway, she gambled. She did not win. In the long run, she did win. $2,100 is hers. And, uh, and that is hers to keep, no matter what. That's how we play the game here at Russian Roulette. It takes a little bit of luck, doesn't it? We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, watch your step. Weeknights at 10 p.m. only on Game Show Network.